going on, huh? Where are we? When are we? We're descending toward Hill Valley, California, at 4.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? You mean we're in the future? I'll do my best, Doc Brown. <laughs> October 21st, 2015. Now, today is a date that Marty McFly and Doc Brown traveled to from 1985 in the movie Back to the Future. Now, the world today, of course, a lot different. Than it was 30 yeah. years ago. And KCCI is a lot different too. Emmy Victor dug deep into the uh -oh. archives and put together this blast from the past. 30 <laughs> years ago today, KCCI reporters were busy covering the stories impacting Iowans the most. The new law essentially gives clerks of court judicial powers by granting them the right to hold hearings in regards to child support payments. Who recognizes this familiar face? Governor Terry Brand said spent his day trying to avoid a farm credit system collapse. The liquidation of individual farmers will be horrendous. It will be a very, very a bloody mess that we can't afford to have in the heartland of this country. The same day, Brand said's future opponent Lowell Junkins made a big announcement. He was stepping down as state senator to run for governor. Clearly, my choice is to resign, so there is no question about that. Police and fire were also busy in the area. Investigators were trying to find the cause of a fire at an Ankeny shopping center. And Des Moines police spent hours investigating a stabbing on the east side. Des Moines City Council ended the day with good news about the parking garage at 5th and Walnut. Free parking on nights and weekends for the next three months. I really think this is a, a very good uh, opportunity to decide to see what will happen in the future uh, to encourage uh, shopping in the downtown area. Emmy Victor. KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader. Wow. I was working in this television market yeah. at that time, but I wasn't here yet. <laughs> I was working at another station. Well, Emmy's story got us wondering what else was happening 30 mm. years ago. The president was Ronald Reagan. Yes, he was. A gallon of gas cost $1.17 in October of 1985. A postage stamp cost 22 cents. Stevie Wonder was at the top of the charts with part-time lover. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's favorite, bacon, was $1.65 a pound. 